Hi, I'm Tanner Rose, Open National Trainer, and today we're going to be doing Games for Learning, Personal and Social Responsibility, specifically small group games of about three people. It can be more than that. When you're looking for your equipment, you're going to need multiple balls per person. It doesn't matter what size they are or how many you have. You're also going to want one bean bag or a similar item per person. That could be a rolled up pair of socks, could be about anything. We're about to play a game called Robotics Lab. We're going to turn our class into a robotics lab. The students in your group uh, will use the beanbag as a remote control. The person who does that is the engineer. The other two students are the robots. The engineer's job is to keep the robots under control by tapping them on the shoulder to turn them left or right. The robots will start to slowly march forward, each in an opposite direction. Anytime a robot is blocked by a wall or another robot, he or she will march in place with his or her hands over their head. Robots must keep marching at all time, forward or in place. Engineers will work to safely steer their robots by tapping them on the shoulders. When tapped, the robots will make a 90 degree turn and engineers may not run. They will walk to the robots. For our skill target today, we're going to look for and recognize open spaces in order to guide our robots safely into them. Our cognitive skill will be to describe the benefits of being active with a group of friends. Our fitness skill today will be able to stay actively engaged in our PE class in order to accumulate maximum amount of physical activity minutes. Our personal and social responsibility skill today will be to work safely with my group members without teacher reminders. Here's an example of how the game is played. Tap them on the shoulder, go find your other robot. Go ahead and play for a while. Press pause while you're playing. Make sure everybody had a chance to be the robot and everybody had a chance to be the engineer. As you'll see, there are many standards that we addressed here. Recognizing the concept of open space, engaging in the physical activity class uh, without teacher prompting, working independently and safely in our physical activity setting. Let's go ahead and think about this game for a minute. How can you recognize safe behaviors? How would you compare and contrast safe behaviors with dangerous behaviors? Can you predict what would happen in our robotics lab if students acted in ways that were not safe? Let's develop a plan that we can follow if any of us see unsafe behaviors. Our next game is going to be called Reflection Perfection. And as you see, there is a drawing on the side with a blue circle around them. I expect that you have approximately three people in your group. So when I talk about the middle person, I'm referring to the person in red. When I'm talking about the uh, outside person, it's the far left. So this activity is called Reflection Perfection. The student in the center is the mirror master. The outer circle is going to duplicate the movements of the mirror master, while the inner circle is going to mirror the movements of the outer circle. So even though the inner circle can't see what the mirror master is doing, they should still be able to copy his or her movements by following the movements of the outer circle. The mirror master must stay on his or her spot. However, he or she can do things like jump or march or jog in place or toss her beanbag up in the air. Balancing the beanbag in different ways would be fun also. This is a cooperative activity, and the mirror master should move at a pace that the outer circle can follow. On the signal, we'll begin. Our skill target today will be to mirror the movements of the mirror master. Our cognitive target will be providing the uh, benefit of demonstrating proper etiquette in physical activity, our physical education class. Our fitness target 
is to stay actively engaged in physical education class in order to accumulate a maximum amount of physical activity minutes. Our personal social responsibility target would be to interact with my classmates in appropriate or using appropriate etiquette. So here you see the boy in the red closest to us is the mirror master. The boy in the red on the farthest from us is the outer circle. And the girl in the blue is watching the outer circle. Press pause while playing this game so everybody can have an opportunity to have each role. As you can see, we worked on a bunch of standards here. Being actively engaged in physical education class without teacher prompting, recognizing the role and rules of etiquette in physical education class, and I would have you describe the social interactions that come when engaged with others in physical activity. So it's time to think a little bit. What is the definition of etiquette and what are the benefits of following proper etiquette? What can you tell someone about etiquette in physical education? In what other settings is it appropriate to use proper etiquette? What details can you give to help support your answer? Can you list some of the positive social interactions that come from being engaged in a partner or group activity? Can you compare and contrast the different benefits gained in partner activities versus group activities? Our next game is called Ice, Water, and Steam. In today's activity, we're going to work together to create three different states of matter for water. Ice, which is a solid, water, which is a liquid, and steam, which is a gas. We'll start with ice. When I say ice, everyone will slowly roll his or her ball to an open space. If you're in a group of three, I suggest being in some type of a triangle or a small enclosed area. As the ball comes to you, your hand, uh, use your hands to slowly keep it rolling. Particles move slowly in ice. When I say water, start to roll the ball more quickly throughout the activity. Again, when the ball comes to you, use your hands to keep it safely rolling. Particles in a liquid move faster than they do in a solid, but not as fast as they do in a gas. And when I say steam, the ball needs to roll as quickly as you can throughout the activity area, keeping the ball on the floor. As the ball comes to you, use your hands to quickly and safely keep it rolling. Particles in gas move very quickly and in an unorganized way. When I say deep freeze, collect one ball and hold it tightly while you shiver and say brrrr. Our skill target today will be able to send foam balls uh, into open spaces with the correct amount of force according to the teacher prompts, like ice, water, or steam. A cognitive target will be to discuss personal and social behavior within the game of ice, water, and steam. Our fitness target will be able to stay actively engaged in physical education class in order to accumulate a maximum number of physical activity minutes. Our personal social responsibility target will be to exhibit personal responsibility through safe and appropriate behaviors. Let's go ahead and start. Let's do ice. Move the ball slowly. It's helpful if you move it towards other people. Water. It's time to move it at a medium speed. Anytime a ball comes to you, push it at a medium speed. Steam, let's move the ball very quickly. Keep it low, keep it on the ground. Give it good, quick push. Let's go back to water, move it at a medium speed. Deep freeze. The ball should not move at all, hold on to it. Let's keep playing. How about ice, move the ball slowly. Steam, let's move it very quickly. Keep it low, keep it safe. 
water. Let's move it down to a medium speed. Ice, a very slow speed. Deep freeze, hold the ball, it shouldn't move at all. All right, let's go to water. Let's do this at a medium speed. Steam, let's speed it up. Let's move very quickly. Let's slow it down. Ice. As you see, we worked on many standards. Combining movement concepts, directions, levels, force, and time. We were engaged in our activities of physical education without teacher prompting. We exhibited personal responsibility in teacher-directed activities. And we're going to reflect on personal social behavior in physical education. So let's think a little bit. What does personal responsibility mean? How did you apply personal responsibility to the activity, ice, water, steam? What is a liquid, a solid, and a gas? What do you know about each state of matter? Describe the sequence of events as a solid becomes a liquid and then a gas. Thanks again for checking this out. For more health and physical education at home resources, check out openphyseded.org backslash active schools backslash active home. Thanks again.